Okay, so today we're going to show you how easy it is to make a starter using proper starter from Omega. Um, the reason for building the starter um, with your yeast slurry um, helps you make sure that you've got the right amount of cells in your ferment. Um, could be because the yeast is coming close towards its best before date. Um, you could be brewing a larger batch than the packet of yeast is um, made for. So if you're going above 20 litres, or it could be that you're doing a high gravity beer. So you need extra cells to actually do the ferment. Some other good practices to think about when you're doing your ferment. Um, we always recommend adding yeast nutrients. There's a selection of these available um, from White Labs, Y Yeast, our own brand. Um, this ensures that your wort has all the right nutrients that the yeast actually needs to give you a good solid ferment. Other things to think about, aeration, yeast needs oxygen. And then the most important part is making sure you've got it at the right temperature. Yeast needs to be held at the right temperature so you don't get any off flavours and so that it does the job properly. Because what it's going to do is it's going to convert the sugars within your wort to alcohol. Um, if you've got it fluctuating too much, then the sugars, it will eat the easy sugars first, possibly leaving the long strain sugars there and you're, not going, to, you're going to get stuck to ferment. Okay, so starting off, um, it's good to have a flask to actually build a starter in. This one we've got a stir plate with. A stir plate's not essential. Um, so you want to first of all sanitise your flask. We've washed it, boiled it, um, and also your star sand. But I'm just going to give it another quick spray of star sand to make sure it's all sanitary while it's been sitting here. Okay. Then we're also going to sanitise the top of the can. And we're going to sanitise the yeast packet. So everything's got plenty of star sand over it. Okay, so we're going to pour the starter into the flask. It's got that beautiful, sweet smell of wort. Yeah. We're again going to top the flask up to a litre. This is with boiled and cooled water. We've then got our sanitised flask of yeast. Let's give that a shake to mix it up. Tear it open. Ah, oh, I love the smell of that. Right. Then we're going to Cover the top of this with some kitchen foil, which we're just gonna spray with a bit of sanitizer. This allows oxygen to carry on going into the flask, but also stops anything else from falling into there. And then we're just gonna turn on the stir plate. And as you can see, that's just whizzing around the little magnetic stir bar in the bottom. And that helps keep the yeast held in suspension while it does its thing. Um, 24, 48 hours, you've then got a fully viable flask of yeast. Um, hopefully you um, saw just how easy it is to make a starter using proper starter from Omega. Um, it takes away a lot of the hassle of having to weigh it, extract, boil it up on the hob, cool it down. It's just so much more simple to have sanitised water can, top it up to a litre. Um, if you like the video, um, please follow our channel on YouTube. Uh, visit the website where we've got a selection of other web videos about how-tos and products and um, don't forget to follow us on um, Facebook and Twitter. <laughs>